Hello students, welcome to the numerical session of solid state. This is Dr. Anita Raj, your chemistry mentor. Today we shall see how to arrive at the formula of a compound in solid state. For that you should be thorough with the calculation of number of particles in an unit cell. So for your convenience, I have shared the link of the video which explains the same in the description box. Kindly make use of it students. Okay, let us move on to the numericals now. Read the first problem students. A solid has structure in which W atoms are located at the corners of the cube. Okay, and O, o that is oxygen atoms are at the center of the edges and Na that is sodium atom is at the center of the cube. The formula of the compound you see here in this problem we are asking you to find out the formula of the compounds and a compound and the atoms are W that is a W oxygen and sodium. So these are the different types of atoms present and they are located at different uh, locations. Okay, so we shall see where these uh, atoms are present now. See this W atoms that is tungsten are located at the corners of the cube is it not? So where we can see the corners? So these are the corners so we can see the uh, W that is uh, tungsten at the corners of this cube. Okay, so how many corners are there? Eight corners is it not? So we can we are having this W in eight corners of this cube. Okay, and what else is given students? Oxygen atoms, oxygen atoms are present at the center of the edges. How many edges are here? We are having 12 edges. Let us see here. This is one. So oxygen to another edge, center of the edge. This is three. So four. Okay, and this is another edge. Five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. So, so 12 edges are there, is it not? So, 12 edges are there, okay. So, we can write here 12, so 12 atoms, okay, oxygen in corners 8. And now, uh, where is sodium? Sodium atom is at the center of the cube. So, we can see sodium at the center, okay, sodium is present at the center number of uh, sodium atoms number of sodium okay. atoms check students how many number of sodium atom are there only one it is present at the center is it not so number of sodium atom is one and since it is present at the center of the uh, 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 unit cell it is not shared by any other uh, unit cell so the total number of sodium atom present at the body center is one okay now let us write the number of uh, oxygen or, uh, or else we shall see for tungsten Okay, number of tungsten atoms. Okay, number of tungsten atoms present. So, how many number of tungsten atoms are there? Tungsten we can see at the corners. Okay, so tungsten is seen at the corners. Okay, so eight corners are there. So, eight tungsten atoms okay, are present at the corners. But as we know earlier, the atoms which are present at the corners will be, see, if this is the atom, corner atom, then it will be shared by eight other unit cells that I have explained in my previous video. You can see, since this particular, every particular corner atom is shared by eight other unit cells, the contribution of this particular atom, corner atom to this unit cell will be only one by eight. So, in that case, if you want to calculate for eight corner atoms, then eight into one by eight. If so, the contribution of this corner atom will be 1, okay, that is tungsten 1. And the next one is uh, the oxygen. See, where is oxygen? Oxygen is present at the center of all the edges. So, how many edges are there? 12 edges, is it not? So, number of, let me write number of oxygen atoms, okay. The oxygen atoms are present at the 12 edges. See here, the atom or the particle which is present at the center of the edge will be shared by four other unit cells okay since this each corner of each atom which are present at the center of the edges will be shared by four other unit cells the contribution of this particular atom which is present at the center of the edge will be one by four okay only one by fourth of this atom will be contributed to this particular unit cell likewise the same this edge centered atom will be shared. How much it will be shared? Only 1 by 4th of this particular atom will be shared to this particular unit cell. Okay, so in that case, since 12 uh, edge atoms are there, so edge atoms are there, what could be the contribution? It will be into 1 by 4. In that case, it is 3. Okay, now we shall write the formula. 
How many sodium atoms? One. Tungsten? One. Oxygen? Three. Okay. So how can you write the formula now? Sodium NaWO3. Understood students? NaC sodium it is one. Tungsten it is one. Oxygen it is three. So the formula of this compound is NaWO3. Understood students? Read the next problem students. A crystalline solid is made up of two elements A and B. Okay. Atoms of A are present at corners and atoms of B at face centers. Okay. See here there are two types of elements A and B in a crystalline solid of which the A atoms are present at the corners. That means eight corners. Okay. And atoms of B are present at the face centers. Okay. So how many face centers are there? There are six face centers. How many corners? Eight. So in that case, eight uh, A atoms and uh, six B. Okay. Now let us move on to the problem. One atom of A is missing from the corner. See, one atom is missing. So out of eight, one is missing. In that case, the simplest formula of the solid will be. See here, they are telling that there are two types of elements are there, A and B. Out of which A is present in the corners and B is present in the six, uh, six face centers. Okay, but out of eight corner A atoms, one atom is missing. That means only in seven corners we can see the atom A. In that case, what could be the simplest form of the solid? Okay, so let us see how to do this problem now. So see, this is the cube, is it not, students? So that we can see the uh, uh, atom A at um, this here, this corner, in this corner. So, 8 corners are there, is it not? 8 corners are there. So, A atom is present in all 8 corners. But in the problem it is given, in one of the corners, one atom is missing. So, totally, how many? Totally, 7 corners are there, are, are filled by atom A. Okay? Yes. Not. So, number of atoms, number of atoms of A. Number of atoms of A, they are present in only 7 corners. As I told you earlier, each corner atom will be shared up by 8 other unit cells. Each corners will be shared by 8 other unit cells. So, in that case, only 1 by 8 of this atom will be contributed to this particular unit cell. So, 7 into 1 by 8, okay. So, what could be the value? 7 by 8, okay. Now, check the next one. Number of atoms... Number of atoms of B, okay. Number of atoms of B is how many? How many number of atoms are there? There are six faces, okay. So we can see the B atoms, B atoms in the face center. So here one, two, three, four. So one more B atom is present in this face, okay. So totally six uh, faces are there and six B atoms are there. So, but each uh, face centered atom will be shared by two uh, unit cells. So, 6 into 1 by 3. Okay. So, this is 3. So, what could be the ratio of A and B? So, A is to B is equal to 7 by 8 is to 3. Is it not? So, when you are simplifying this, you will be having 7 is to 24. Is it not? So, the simplest formula for the solid is A, 7 and B, Understood students? So, this is how you should do the problem. Read the next problem students. An ionic compound is made up of A cations and B anions. Okay. See here cations and anions. Ionic form. Right. If A cations are present at the alternate corners and B anion is present on the body diagonal, what is the formula of the ionic compound? See how many normally how many corners will be there? 8 corners. But here the A cations are present in the alternate corners. In that case, A can be seen only in four corners, is it not? And B anion is present on the body diagonal. Also, in body diagonal, you will be having one atom. Okay. So let me let me show it now. See here, these are the corners. So eight corners will be there, but A atom is present only in the alternate corners. So here we could see one, and here we don't have, and here is another. And again, in the alternate, is it not? In the alternate position. So, here. Here we are having A cation. And here also in the alternate position. So, totally 4, is it not? 4 cations are there, right? And, and where this anion B is present, see in the diagonal, okay? 
so here is the diagram so if we this b we can see here so this is b okay so only one b all right so see here this uh, at cation a is present in the alternate corner so alternate corners means number of cations a number of a will be four okay only in four corners we could see a and the contribution of this a will be one by eight okay so in that case one by two will be the value okay likewise number of b number of b anions see in the diagonal we have seen there is only one b anion is it not only one uh, diagonal is there number of diagonal is one so number of b will be one okay so number of b is equal to one so now write the formula for this ionic compound a one by two b okay or else if you want to write in whole number a b2 okay see this a is half of b so if you are writing in whole number you can write like this a b2 understood students well fine students you might have understood how to arrive at the formula of the compound through this video i shall meet you with another important topic within a short period until then it's dr anita signing off from me thanks for watching